a job application still stays open for let's say 30 days or 45 days but when it comes to internships especially some of the popular ones they get filled super fast so even if the last date would be after 30 days they would come and say okay boss we are closing because we are already over supplied with talent now why does this happen and why should you know about this trick most of the biotech and um, pharma startups and companies whenever they open these internships more people are you know uh, applying because more people are passing every day and of course the previous ones who could not fetch a job will also apply right so that is why there is a overcrowding right and that is why this video to give you an idea on what are the top upcoming internships in india okay i'm going to give you a list of probably 12 to 15 internships with you know probable months in which it will come so that you are ready to apply okay now first i will try to focus on the academic internships and then we'll go to the industrial internships okay now academic internships are something like they will happen in the academic setup in some other college or some other university okay so let's start with the first one which i have for you is iit mandi will have a summer internship okay so that will be and the applications will open uh, somewhere around uh, jan and feb and it will close by 31st of march next year okay so every year it comes so january it will open and march it will close that's for iit mandi summer internship then we have iit dharwad they will also have a summer internship and uh, again it will open in january close in march and there they will be doing innovative research okay in iit and uh, along with expert faculty and scientists who are working there you will get a chance to work with them the third one which i have for you is bose institute they will have a summer internship and again the deadline would be 20th of march around that it closes somewhere around holi it will close so it will open in january and close in um uh, march okay then we have sastra summer internship again it will close by 15th of april then we have gujarat uh, state biotech uh, university gsbtm they will have a summer internship and that will be uh, starting around february and applications will open by february and it will close by 15th of april now you'll be wondering like okay all these internships where how would i get to know so nothing to worry if you subscribe to biotechnica you can go to btnk.org/subscribe you can get all these uh, latest scholarship alerts and internships alerts as you uh, progress in your career so nothing to worry now the next one which i have is iit indore will have a summer internship for ug students and it will be closing by 30th, 30th of april next year you can deep dive into research with seasoned mentors then ahmedabad university has a summer internship again it will close by march opens in jan closes in march then most of these are summer internships okay then biotechnica also has a global bioinformatics uh, training and uh, internship which is uh, closing on 29th of august this month you can check the link in the description here we'll be training you on um, computational biology artificial intelligence how can you apply intel uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning in bioinformatics and of course you will get a work experience letter and a work from home internship so you don't have to go anywhere details are given in the comment section then we have nit raurkela so they also have a internship um, again it's a summer internship so um, the applications most of it will close in the first week or second week of um, uh, march okay then coming to the industry industrial internship one i told you is biotechnica then we have iqvia they also have an internship they will give you uh, internship of on cdm and analytics and biotechnology then gsk will has also come up with an internship and they will have a hands on pharmaceutical uh, internship on industry experience now this inter- industry exp- uh, inter- experience internship don't have a fixed date they can come any time so you have to be subscribed to biotechnica because that's where all the information about internship we will post and sometimes it comes with a scholarship sometimes it comes with a stipend so that again depends then we have pfizer biotech internship where you will work on biotech projects at a global pharmaceutical major of course pfizer then thermo fisher also comes up with scientific internship on data analytics and uh, data mining so aiml also for uh, thermo fisher is working that is where you can get to then byrac also has a government internship where you uh, get sti- substantial stipend recently they have come up with the uh, pradhan mantri uh, so they have come up with a internship where you can intern at a biotech company and they will pay you a stipend a part of the stipend is paid by the government a part is paid by 
the uh, biotech company and all of that of course it will be posted on biotechnica one important thing about all these internship is if in case you don't want to miss of course you should subscribe to biotechnica because you can't keep tab of so many websites where all this is coming so all of that comes anyways into biotechnica you can um, you know filter through and apply wherever you get selected one thing i have seen about internship is suppose you applied for uh, say 100 internships in the year the chances of selection will be a meager 10%, right? That means you have to apply to more number of uh, internships. So you have to, you know, of course, apply to academic internship as well as the industrial internship. Now, one important thing many people do is they have applied for the academic internship, they got selected, started the work there and suddenly they got, they saw the industrial internship, now they left it. Don't leave internships in the middle, okay? The industrial internships can always get postponed. So you can always talk to them like, I am ready and uh, I can work, but I'm already doing an internship there so I can close, finish that and join you. So that way it works really great, right? Always try to get an industrial internship because that can always translate into a job. And that is what Biotechnica does. We have the AIML internship starting from 29th of this month. And that is application of artificial intelligence in bioinformatics and drug discovery and biology and you will learn a lot of things. You will be first trained for 45 days, 30, 30 to 45 days, and then you will be put into a project with our scientists where you will be developing algorithms. You'll be developing on the user interface. You'll be creating an end-to-end -end product, which you will, you know, of course, deliver to our global pharmaceutical uh, companies, which are tying up with us, which has tied up with us. And uh, they are from Sweden, UK, Canada, US, and all those projects, you'll be working with us. And then you get a work experience letter. You get a um, uh, paper publication approach with a scientist and of course uh, apart from that there are various other internships so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm uh, you know pinning a link in the description which is all these internships okay and when it comes in which month in which date you can uh, check that out and of course subscribe to biotechnica so that you can get all the details and if in case you are interested in the aiml internship the details is given in the description thank you so much see you soon as a successful biotechnologist all the best